So our lab studies sugars, and the reason we study sugar is because they are the messengers on the surface of the cell. You know, in order to interact with it, with the rest of the world, you have to talk to those small little molecules. They're about a hundred million times smaller than a meter. So our lab makes small molecules and chase them around on the surface of the cell. And once we can do so, we can tell you whether cancer metastasis occurs because X sugar is missing or Y sugar is added onto it. And you need, you need a dedicated group of chemists to make this happen. And that's one of the benefits of working in our lab is that we have a dedicated group of chemists who are willing to make small molecules like this, you know, add, add a little carbon here, add a little nitrogen there, and voila, you have something that works better than what was available in the past. The project that I'm working on is trying to find the connection between the spliceosome, which is basically a system that regulates gene expressions in our cells. Defects in the spliceosome can affect the, the genome integrity, so DNA damage, and how this can lead to diseases of the blood, such as myelodysplastic syndromes, which have a predilection for leading to acute myeloid leukemia. My project and my lab look at MACRH2A, which is a histone variant. So histones are proteins that DNA wrap around to fit into the cells. Um, it condenses all your DNA into chromatin, and I look at MACRH2A, which is a histone protein, and its role in cancer, basically. So there are two different forms of it, and one form is significantly downregulated in cancer, and I'm trying to figure out what proteins are involved in making that downregulation and how that kind of affects cancer as a whole. My project is looking at uh, mammary stem cells and their role in uh, the development of the mammary gland and breast cancer. Before this, I, I worked in uh, industry as a biomedical engineer, and I wanted to uh, go to an institution that knew that had a, um, a strength in, in stem cell biology background.